Hello, everybody. Hello. Today, um, uh, well, I had a vision yesterday, and so I'm just going to read through it. And um, we've been um, praying and talking to the Lord about it. And um, Tiffany has some um, insight into uh, what what he's talking about. So uh, I'll just read through it, and then uh, that's what we'll do, I guess. Um, so, I see the winds of change angel looking over the earth again. Seems to be a prominent figure in um, a lot of these visions is the winds of change. So, um, so I, I see him looking over the earth. He is a picture of strength, rather stoic, but also um, satisfied at the results of his work. He isn't done, but the task ahead will be accomplished without the resistance that was apparent before. Um, if you haven't seen our, the previous vision of the uh, winds of change, he, um, there's a good reason why he looks more satisfied at what's going on now. So you might wanna look at that. Um, so then I also see the archangel, Michael. He also seems to have a fresh resolve. He is rallying the heavenly host for battle. All of the angels seem to know that there will be a great victory. They look like they can hardly wait to get started. But the angels are very well disciplined. They desire to follow and do not second guess or berate their leaders, um, at least not like the enemy hordes do. From what I've seen of the enemy, they do whatever they do out of fear, only serving themselves, really. It's, it's kind of a mess. They, it's, it's not organized like um, God's army, and um, they follow their commander's orders to avoid being punished, and um, to gain advantage for themselves and are basically forced to fight. They, they don't desire it, not like the angels. The angels are ready to do battle for the Lord. They're, they're, just, they're just cranked, they're ready. Um, so Michael is preparing for an enormous battle. The angels look up to him. He is a warrior and very dedicated and loyal. He has great faith or trust in the Lord. The battle will begin very soon. It will not be a protracted engagement. It will be over with rather quickly. On the world stage, this battle and the rout of the demonic will also produce fear. It will become very visible as the noose tightens on those whose deeds have been evil. Their pride and bravado, bravado will turn to panic. Erratic thoughts and actions will result. Watch as the facade begins to fall this week, May 23rd, 2021, the week of this week. And look as everyone will, at the free fall and collapse of the world system. Stand therefore, my faithful ones. It will not be long now, says the Lord of hosts. Amen. Um, the reason we um, thought it prudent to get this video done was because he included a week, this week, um, to watch um, for um, the facade to begin to fall. So we thought it would just be um, like he, when he puts a date on it like that, it means it's got to get it done. So, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So um, you'll evidently we will start to see that begin to, um, this particular week. So mm -hmm. be watching for that. Ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes to see that. 
Um, and like Kirk said, there are visions that we've had of the Winds of Change Angel. There are actually several videos that he is in um, that we have seen him in what's going on there in the heavenly realms. Um, and that affects what's going on on earth. So mm -hmm. you can look for that. There's also a word about the world system um, and how the Lord is destroying that. And it's really a good word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I recommend you look, you look for that yeah, really on good. our channel as well. So after that word came, after that vision came um, for us, then the Lord showed us Luke 18. And I want to read uh, the parable of the persistent widow. It says, Then Jesus spoke a parable to them, that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. So it's like the yeah. explanation is given even yeah. before the parable comes. The point of the parable is that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. And remember, faith is not some grandiose thing. It's that you don't give up, but you keep believing to the end. Right. And another word to help you with that is um, a, a vision of Joseph and what he had to say about it, Joseph, the son of Jacob. And that was, uh, you know, a few videos before this one. So there you go. Okay, so Jesus spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart, saying, there was a certain, there was in a certain city a judge who did not fear God nor regard man. Now there was a widow in that city, and she came to him saying, get justice for me from my adversary. How many of you have been praying for justice? Hmm. Always pray yeah. and don't lose heart. <laughs> And the judge would not do it for a while. But afterward, he said within himself, Though I do not fear God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continually coming she wear me out. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. And shall God not avenge his own elect who cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them. I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? <laughs> wow. So the Lord will give us justice. He hears our cries. And when Jesus comes, is he going to find that faith? Is he going to find us still standing? Yes, he mm -hmm. will. And the Lord is bringing justice. And this word about the winds of change, there's change happening. If the winds of change is satisfied with his work, and his work is to bring change, <laughs> hence his name, yeah. then, then we will see it happening. We will see the justice of the Lord rolling out. And I would say, too, that we should be able to feel that in our spirit, too, that the tide is changing the tide of this battle is changing. We, we not only see just in the natural, and we not only just see in the spirit with our spirit eyes, but our spirit too feels when things are changing. We, we sense that the, the battle is turning toward the, uh, toward the good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Amen. So don't give up. Don't lose heart. Be encouraged. Be encouraged and remember, faith is for the long run. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you.